This video is on meningitis. Meningitis is inflammation of the meningeal membranes. To recap the meningeal layers from our subarachnoid hemorrhage video, an excellent video and people have called it a must watch. Anyway, so the outermost layer is the dura mater, then the arachnoid mater, the subarachnoid space, and the innermost layer is the pia mater. Risk factors include an infection or immunocompromised, hematogenous spread of an upper or lower respiratory tract infection can result in meningitis. You can also get sterile meningitis from head trauma, so there is no infection, but we will focus on infective meningitis. So what are the clinical features? The classic triad is headache, fever and nuchal rigidity, so neck stiffness. You may also get raised intracranial pressure features such as confusion, nausea, papilledema and seizures. Cushing's triad precedes herniation and is wide pulse pressure, bradycardia and chain stokes breathing. To investigate we do blood count looking for neutrophilic leukocytosis. Thrombocytopenia may be seen if there is disseminated intravascular coagulation. Once we have excluded raised intracranial pressure, we can do a lumbar puncture because we know it won't cause herniation. Lumbar puncture is the most important diagnostic tool and this table summarizes the findings. Basically, viruses don't cause a lot of changes apart from a lymphocyte reaction. Bacteria makes the sample appear cloudy with more protein and less glucose because the glucose is being eaten by the bugs. It's important to note you cannot do a lumbar puncture if the patient has raised intracranial pressure, thrombocytopenia or a coagulopathy. Treatment should be commenced immediately with empirical antibiotics, so ampicillin, gentamicin and fragile. Steroids or IV dexamethasone can be given to reduce swelling. Once investigation results return, you can give targeted antibiotics. Supposing meningitis progresses, it is important to know the complications. Complications are most likely with a bacterial cause. Raised ICP can lead to cranial nerve palsies, especially ocular motor and abducens nerve. Fatally, it can lead to herniation syndromes, which can compress the cardiorespiratory centers in the Madonna. Infectious complications include brain abscess, a subdural empyema, or even sepsis leading to disseminated intravascular coagulation. Neurological complications include sensorineural neural hearing loss, focal neurological deficits, and hydrocephalus. Causes of death relate to herniation or sepsis. Thank you for watching. If you learned something, please tell a friend who may also find it useful. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at midnightmed1200.